Okay, Scort here. Moving on to the next uh, tree. Blessings to everybody out there. And uh, I'm just cleaning these off. And how I'm going to do it is I'm just going to set them there like that. Take this isoprophic alcohol, 91%. Go ahead and put it all over the blade. Flip it if you so wish to. Now, obviously, if you can't do this, you can ob it and put the lid back on. If you can't do this, you can obviously just boil them, uh, boil your blade, and that, uh, that should get a lot of the bacteria off, you know, 30 second boil. But uh, there is a perfect alcohol, and then you just wipe it off with a wipe. Now that the blade's wiped off, and I have my other tool ready, I sharpen them just a little bit. Okay, that's what you want. It's January 9th or 10th. I forgot the date. It's one of those two days. I think it's the 10th. Could be the 9th. You know how it goes. You forget the days. I gotta get my glove on here. All right. My other glove's on. It's cold. It's about 18 degrees outside. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to the um, other tree. We're going to go. So we did the plum over there. Now we're going to do the little guy in the middle. And uh, this one you've been waiting for. This is the Honeycrisp the apple. And uh, obviously that center lead is the first thing that's going to go. By the way, almost everything that you're seeing here, and I'll just, and we're gonna show you basic pruning. Um, what I mean by pruning is basic uh, structure pruning, going all the way from the base out to each one of your structural branches, and then how you lattice it accordingly with you know um, training. Uh, so obviously me and my father wanted to eliminate this guy. So that's the first automatic thing we're going to do is eliminate the center. And to eliminate it, we have this old guy. I don't know if you remember him from future or past videos. But this little guy. So all we're going to do is cut him right about there. And I've been especially wanting to get this on video so everybody knows exactly what I'm talking about. And you can see it going through pretty well. It's not one of my best knives, but... And yes, I did clean it with isoprophic alcohol. Now, before I go all the way through, I'm going to go on this side and just do a little spotter. And this does is keeps it from ripping all the way down. So, bam, right off. Now the center's out. But now I want to point something out to you. If you're into grafting, okay, all, yeah, actually, yeah, we'll just let it set. All of these runners are the perfect size for grafting. Look at that. That's pencil width, each one of those. You just clip them off about 18 inches, 8 inches. Seal them up with beeswax on both sides. Moist paper towel and a plastic bag in the refrigerator. Label what it is. This is a honey crisp apple tree. Label it. And look, I mean, you can see all. I mean, this has nothing but scion wood. So... We can easily trade this guy up and get other varieties if we so wish. Uh, and varieties that aren't of the same kind of fruit. We can get other kinds of fruit, you know. But, yeah, I know. This is a real shame what's about to happen. So, bear with me. So, we're going to start very simply. This guy in the middle, right there. Cutting him in out. And again... That's all cyan wood. We're just throwing them. We're throwing them. We want an open center completely. Okay? So we got to eliminate almost all of this. Yeah. I know. You're like, why, why, why? This one 
is interfering right here so we're going to eliminate him all the way back to there we're going to eliminate this guy because he's coming inwards same thing with this guy now that we've no we got two more see how those two are crossing we're going to eliminate at least this big guy right here okay and then probably gonna eliminate this guy right there and again this guy Ugh, eliminate that guy right back to there eliminate this guy at least back to there um this one's coming up and through so we're gonna at least eliminate him yeah oh you see that that ripped that, that'll lead to disease you gotta be careful with stuff like that and again same thing right here but this once you get about i would say from the center out a foot and a half go up about six inches cut it directional bud wise eliminate we're gonna do like we did with the pair uh plum over there we're gonna eliminate the interfering ones because these guys like to have a lot of uh fruit we're gonna eliminate this little guy right there real quick we're gonna eliminate this guy we're gonna keep him but with a directional bud Anyway, why are you doing that? <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure I want to get rid of this guy altogether. And maybe this guy altogether. See how I'm trying to keep the flat, the tops flat? Um, and again, eliminate him right there. Okay, so now you got like this spiral. One, two, and three, right? So we're going to go up six inches. On the back side, you can see the little bud right there. And again, right here on the back side, a little bud. And over here, off to this side. So we're going to keep those three. But, you know, we could want it to go down like this from here down. But then we got that bottom one to worry about coming from there. So we're going to eliminate it all together. We're going to eliminate this guy over here. We're just going to keep the three. We're going to get rid of all of this gouging stuff that's happening that's cutting off circulation to the cell activating layer of the tree so that way it doesn't uh, get diseased and then we're going to move in to this little guy right here we're going to go through basically eliminate all of this hmm uh, I would almost eliminate right here, right there, and just have this branch coming out. I may end up doing that. So we're just going around the top right now. And as you can see, coming off the top, you got this central bud that we just cut. Um, but I'm thinking, you cut it back to here. It leaves that open. Get rid of this one behind. Uh, get rid of this one off the side. Find a directional bud that's pointing towards you. Cut right above it. Bam. That way it'll come this way. And cut this guy again directionally coming that way. Eliminate this guy down here all together. Bam. And then we go right here. Uh, this back one, I would say fully eliminate. Um, leave this guy open for discussion. Leave that guy open. Uh, this one is a central lead, but we're going to take the lead and switch it to this guy over here now. And we're going to even take that lead and then switch it to an upright position right there. We're going to totally eliminate this guy. Totally eliminate this one. Uh, and try to get close to the structure as you can and again we're going to totally eliminate that one that one that one 
that one and that guy. Uh, let's see. Again, you kind of want to get rid of this gouging. Yeah, get rid of that gouging material. It, it's stuff that we use for training, but right now it's actually gouging the tree. And in the spring, you can easily eliminate it, right? But... So as you can see, we're just trying to keep some of the fruiting spurs, I guess. Um, that directional one going down, eliminate. This dead one over here, eliminate. Uh, again, these fruiting spurs are a little too long, so eliminate some. And eh, eliminate in between, so that way the spacing's good. Uh, keep this central lead for now, but then if you go back through, cut it back to there. Maybe keep this guy and cut him back to about there. Keep, no, do I want to keep that third one? No. Okay, bam. Now the next one. Uh, fruiting spur, might as well get rid of. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of him. Fruiting spur there. Get rid of the dead. Again, it's practice and repeat. Directional bud is right there, so we get rid of there. Here, directional bud, next branch. And again, this one right down here is disease, so we eliminate that right off the back. This one's running into that one, eliminate. This one is actually a good one. Is it? No. No, it's not. Okay, so we delete it. This one underneath needs to be deleted, so we delete it. <laughs> These fruiting spurs are too big. They, I've given them at least two seasons to grow fruit. Nothing came off it. This central lead is looking good, but we want it to go out. So our directional bud points that way. And the other one, we don't want. <laughs> Next one right here. Okay, so this guy, obviously, I'm going to eliminate. Uh... This guy I'm going to eliminate. This guy I'm going to eliminate. And that's all grafted wood right there. Now you see how I have one, two, and three right here. One, two, and three. Um, I'm going to cut them all back, but I'm going to keep them all. I'm going to keep this one with a directional bud going that way. This one, a directional bud going up. And this one... Since there's a whole branch right here, I'm going to eliminate. Bam. Down here underneath, I could do this real quick. That one is inferior. Has to come out. The one underneath it also has to come out. Uh, these guys, I don't like how healthy that one looks, so we're going to eliminate it. Probably going to keep that. We want a downward branch. Right there's our downwards, and we're going to eliminate that guy. <sighs> so this is our next branch coming in. So we have about a foot and a half. Right here, we're going to probably, yeah, end up eliminating that. Eliminating that one. And again, try to get these branches to fall to the ground. Leave them there for the rabbits because the... It's better that the rabbits eat the stuff that you cut than the stuff that you're trying to let grow. Eliminate these fruiting spurs right here. Try to keep it clean, close to the uh, structure of the branch. Leave that one, because that one looks new. Um, okay, obviously we have too much going this way, so this guy gets eliminated. Now these two, this Y, we want to keep, but a directional 30... And again, we got some fruit coming off, so we'll cut it right at the fruit mark. <clears throat> and then actually, we can do this guy below right now. We can eliminate him, 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 her, her, and her. And heck, this guy, eliminate him, this one, that one, that one, that one. And then eventually we'll go back to that one. 
Oh, look at the gouging way over there. That's being gouged. Um, okay, so now we're back up here. We're going to eliminate that guy in the side right there. We're going to eliminate him. We're going to have a downward facing bud right there. And uh, let's go with a upward facing bud right there. Bam. And again, fruiting spurs like that can come out. Okay, so obviously that guy gets eliminated. That guy gets eliminated. This branch is going to take a whole new direction. It could go this way, but we're going to sneak in right there, cut it, and let it come this way. Huh? What do you think about that? And then we're even going to take a more direction and let the directional bud go that way. So that branch has now taken a whole new direction. Again, coming from the top... We eliminate, 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 eliminate. Yeah, well, eventually that one has to come out anyway, so. Eliminate. Kind of like this one right here, the central lead bud. But if I'm being honest, I kind of want to eliminate this top one and have a directional down bud happen right about there and same thing here bam and then we can go right to this guy as you can see him clearly eliminate that eliminate that we've already done that branch so we're going to eliminate this eliminate that Mm, okay. Uh, uh, you know what? We're going to eliminate it right there. These fruiting spurs are going to come out. Keep some of them. Cut this back to there. And maybe do something like that. Now this guy... Again, we're just doing top layers, but this is where most of the growth is happening. We're going to eliminate this guy. Eliminate that guy underneath. Eliminate this little intrusion. Uh, and let that guy grow. Which means you don't want this one to cross that one, so we eliminate it there. This one all the way down here we eliminate because it's crossing and touching. So that gets eliminated. This one right here gets eliminated. 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 Oh, I'm freezing. Okay, let's see. This guy, he's going in the upward direction, so we eliminate him. Uh, I'm going to eliminate it like this, and then an upward branch. Upward branch, which means, you see, once you know how to prune right, it goes real fast, actually. I see how I started there, worked my way around. Too much is happening right here. So, one second. <sighs> so, too much is happening right there. So, what we're actually going to want to do is essentially eliminate a lot of this mess down here. And the first thing that I can see that has to go... Give me a second. <sighs> so cold. So cold. So very, 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 very cold. So cold. Oh my, 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 my. So cold. God bless America, but I'm cold. Okay. It's only like 18 degrees. Wet boots. Not a good idea. Okay, I gotta put my glove back on. Give me a second there. Okay. Okay, here we go. This one down here is way too low. So we're just gonna 
But, you know, it being so cold, look at how fast it comes out. And then we eliminate this, that, that, that. And we can go all the way back here. And look, you see, that's the gouger I'm talking about. You got to get that off there. Mm, okay, okay, let's... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, this is bad. Okay, well, that's better now. And then, you know what? You want this to take a whole different direction, right? Of course you do. So... Sometimes in life, God just takes us and says, okay, and redirects us completely. But it's good for us. We need it. Okay. He's like, you weren't working out the way I wanted you to. So now we're going to prune you up. Oh, I snapped the line, eh? Uh, obviously this whole guy can go right here. Okay. And then we cut him back to there. Look at that. That's a new directional branch. This one right here can just be eliminated altogether. Sorry about that. This one can come out. That one can come out. That one right there can come out. This one down here can, yeah, that's right come out. Look at how much cleaner it is just by taking those little guys right out of there, eh? Okay. Cold. Moving on. Okay, right here. You see all these crossing ones? I mean, just from the start. You can go right here and say to yourself, okay, Ooh, that guy can come out. That guy can come out. Sorry about that. That guy can come out. 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 This guy. What's the sense in him even being there? Okay, take him out. Uh, again, he's rubbing up against him, so we eliminate him. We eliminate this guy. Eliminate that guy. Uh, this branch is way too long. I don't like how far it comes out. So actually what I want to do is cut it back to about here. Yeah, right there. You're like, what? Why would you take that much off? Well, because all I want is this one directional. You get it? One direction? <laughs> no. And then we take off all these guys right here. Yeah. You're like, you're going to kill this tree. Believe me, it will come back. <laughs> and again, structural. We go right to the structure of it. There's a structure supporting branch. We're eliminating all the stuff that can cross out and through. Yeah. You're starting to see a method to my madness, aren't you? Okay, the one underneath. We don't want it to be infuriated. So we just take it right out to begin with. All the dead stuff we take out. And then, you know what? We take this guy out right there. I don't know, we go lower than that. We go right to there. Take him out. Cut off the dead stuff. Take out the one in between. Uh, have a backup right there. This guy is going to be cut back to here. Okay, and again, we're just going to go from the structure of the base right here. A lot of these fruiting spurs didn't do much, so a lot of them were eliminating. Uh, all of this junk right there we're going to eliminate. Cut that back to there. And again. Now we're hitting our lower branches if you're looking at it. And again, I don't like this branch. So. 
out you go. <laughs> out you go. Don't like you at all. One right there, one right there. Clean up all of this junk on aisle four. And this downward facing one. Yeah, that we're gonna eliminate. With apples, it's very hard to be over pruning because all of this will come back. And you can already see the structure laid out. Now I just have to bend the branches, let them grow again next year. Both of these, let's see. I want one to go out that way. Actually, I have too much over there. So, and then I just want this one to go up see how simple that was that was so simple and you see i already forgot some right here Look at that. And I could go all the way back and cut it to there, but for now I won't because I'm freezing to death. <laughs> and again, this little guy, we're just going to take off all this little stuff right here. Going all the way through. Eliminate the weak stuff, or the stuff that doesn't produce. Uh, cut it back to about there. And maybe right there, give us a whole new branch. It'll fill in this area quite nicely. Again, all this stuff right here can be eliminated. There's no sense in having all of that. And, uh, <sighs> okay. I really don't like how this branch is turning out on me, but. Uh, well, you know what? Right back to the base. I don't want any. That's right. I don't know. Do I really want that guy there? Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I'll keep him, but I'll directional him. Take him off in uh, summer pruning, which you can do, by the way. You can do summer pruning, which is, in my case, probably a really good idea. But I don't. <laughs> I don't do a summer pruning. What the pruning you do? I do a winter pruning. What about you? <laughs> well, because it's dormant, you know? And that's what you're looking for, essentially, is a dormant cutting. You know, because you can do a lot more with a dormant cutting, a lot more success rate than you can a, a, a live cutting. That's not dormant, you know? So, I mean, it's just, it's common sense. Apple trees are one of the easiest trees to prune because they don't mind. They like the light. They prefer the light. They are a lot like Christians in the sense of being drawn to the light. Unlike your plums and your pears, which like to be a little bit more cluttered. I know some people like that. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, we're going to have to kneel down, eliminate this guy, eliminate this guy, try to cut this stuff out of there. Again, eliminate him, eliminate him, eliminate him. Uh, you know what, I'm going to keep him. I'm going to keep him, damn. See, that's what we're doing. We're bringing it right back to what we know is true. And... We're, we're saying to this tree, hey, look, we're giving you a chance to survive and live, right? Now, whether you take that chance, that's up to you. And that's what God says to us sometimes. Like, you know, I'm giving you a chance to thrive. Now, whether you take it, that's up to you. And a lot of times, more often than not, we uh, end up not taking it you know but the moment we do we figure out that there's so much less clutter in our lives which is essentially what we need 
is to have the light in our lives, the light of life. And when we have it, it makes it much easier to live, you know? Oh, sorry about that. My hand was in the way the whole time. Bam, right there. And you see all this crossing stuff? You just you want to take it right out of there, you know? And again, stuff that's going down, take it out. This stuff that's coming through, take it out. Stuff in the back here, take it out. Go right back to the base. Uh, I do like this branch right here, but I don't like all these little side dimensions that are coming off it so we take those out that's it okay and now we stand back oh we you know we knock off all of this stuff that we just cut off because it's kind of hanging up there and stuff and we don't want it to make sure we got all of these guys off from here and now you know what it looked like from before. That was the center lead. Whole new design, but it's still going to live, still going to thrive, still going to do great. I'm freezing. This is Gore. I'm out. God bless each and every one of you, ladies and young gentlemen. Out.